Wireshark tutorial video, we are going to cover the topics capture filter and display filter. And after that, we will do some explanation with examples. So what is the difference between capture filter and display filter? As you can see here on the starting screen of Wireshark, you have the, the ability to enter some capture filtering. So the capture filter is more like a low layer filter, which means that you can filter for IP, for ICMP, for TCP, UDP. You can filter for certain ports. You cannot filter for higher layer protocols like HTTP. So for instance, what you could do is uh, type in port 67 or port 68, um, which is used for DHCP. So if you want to analyze DHCP traffic, you can enter this um, query. What you can do is um, to type in something like IP, which will filter only IP traffic on the network. And you could enter something like ICMP. The good thing about the capture filter of every filter within Wireshark is the availability, the ability to filter with expressions. So if I want to filter for ICMP and TCP and UDP, so I want to get each of these types of traffic, I could enter something like ICMP or TCP or UDP. You also see that the background of the field, the color turns green, which means that uh, this expression is valid and it's Wireshark can handle it. If it is red, so if you mistype something or if your expression is not valid, then you will get a red background of this input field. So basically a red background means that the expression is not valid and will not work. So if we type in this expression and start some capturing, we will be able to see something if there's traffic regarding that one. Right now there isn't, so I will enter something into my terminal. So already some traffic. I will ping right now to some address, let's say vc.com and we see something. Can we stop that? The problem is that I had just an old filter, DNS active, so I just go to that filter field and hit enter and then I will see all the packets. So, and you can see some ICMP protocol as well. All right, that's the capture filter. So I will stop this filter and stop the capturing. I will clear the results with that button, continue without saving. Let's go back to that capture filter. What I'm going to do is I will delete that expression. I just go with a blank. So right now I'm capturing everything as you can see right here. So let's move forward to the display filter. What you can do with the display filter is filter for certain protocols or source addresses or network addresses. So let's say I just want to know the traffic uh, that happens within my subnetwork. So I could use something like ip.address equals, and then I will use my subnet address, which is 
10.0.0 slash 24, which is my subnet mask. I will hit enter, and now the filter shows me just my network traffic. So there is either something going out from my computer, or there's something coming in from other clients on the network. All right. What I want to do now is I want to show you the use of that filter by testing some DHCP activity. As you probably know, DHCP is used for acquiring IP addresses dynamically. So if you have a DNS server somewhere, then this server will offer IP addresses to the client, the client will take it and will use that IP. At home, the DNS server is most likely on your internet service provider router. So you got a router from your provider and this router will have DNS uh, on the device. So I will just enter some filter here, IP dot, um, just have a look. So the protocol, the underlying protocol of um, DHCP is boot P, so I will enter boot P dot options dot dhcp there's something wrong right here that's the correct one i will hit enter and i do not see anything right here which is because i already got an ip address so to simulate that i will try to switch to another network Let's see, so I switched the network right now and we captured a complete DHCP cycle. So when I switch the network, I switched the, the Wi-Fi network. So I went into another subnet and the DHCP server uh, offers uh, an IP address. It does that in the following way. So my machine is doing a DHCP discover broadcast. So it sends out uh, a broadcast message and says, is there any DHCP server? If the server receives that message, it sends out a DHCP author. So it offers the client uh, an IP address. Uh, with the DHCP request, the client says, yeah, that's fine. Um, DHCP request this IP address and the server, if, if he gets this message, will uh, return with an acknowledge and the client will use the IP address from that moment on. So perfect. We filtered for a DHCP communication that works perfect. So I will clear that filter. I will want to show you something more. I want to show you some DNS.a, which basically gives me all the A records for the communication, um, which looks something like this. There you can see all the DNS communication for all the DNS A records. So you have a lot of uh, possibil possibilities and abilities to search for certain communication, which is great for troubleshooting or for monitoring your network traffic. So we will have a look at some Wireshark documents. You can find all the filtering options on the Wireshark wiki which you can see here that's the capture filter and there's also some explanation for the display filter 
What I want to do now is uh, search, or not search, I will enter bbc.com. As you can see here, bbc.com is uh, not using HTTP, it's using HTTPS, so that's most probably TLS encrypted. Yes, I agree to all the cookies. And let's go back to our Wireshark. I will stop the filtering right here. And we see that we got a lot of packets so, uh, down below. There has to be our bbc.com request. I will filter for um, tcp. Dot, dot port equals four four three, which is HTTPS, and I see a lot of TLS traffic right here. So somewhere right here has to be the BBC.com request and reply. I will not go into detail right here. You could do a trace route to bbc.com to find out which is the IP address, and then you could fill additionally for the IP address. IP.address equals IP of bbc.com. So you would enter the IP address right here. So that's it for now. That's all you need to know for the capturing and display filter. As I told you, there are a lot of options. You can read them online. You could do some sophisticated expressions within the filter uh, to get just the packets you need to analyze.